Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my weekly look at gold futures for the week commencing Monday the 9th of April. So very quickly on the weekly, uh, last week's uh, candle did respect and hold at the center line of the weekly channel. So let's have a look at how the looks on the daily. So there's no real, um, we are just going up in this uh, very slowly in this uh, weekly channel, bullish channel, but it does test the center line. Last week we had the big move up on Monday, which we discussed in last week's video, and we got the high, high here, which is a sort of lower resistance level to the previous week. We came back down and we found support here. Um, even though we got trumped on Thursday night, Friday gold uh, responded quite well to that uh, and rejected the lows and came back up off the center line. So what trading opportunities there were there last week and what is there going to be this week? So if you remember last week, we looked at the gold closed near the lows and we were looking for um, a bounce off that big support level there intraday, which happened on Monday. There was a great trade uh, here um, and it worked out extremely well. Now, one thing we we have had added to our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader version. Version 3, this is, will be coming out at the beginning of May. We've added a special stochastic, uh, two different strategies. We've got uh, the false breakouts at the top and the yellow dots here at the, to, to denote a strong bullish trend if it's in the overbought zone and obviously a bearish trend if it's in the um, oversold zone here. We've also got these arrows here in green, as you can see, for potential long trades going through our 6-4 moving average. So as you can see, the green arrow uh, on Monday last week, we got the, the indication for a long and it went all the way up. And we use a 6-4 moving average low the following day for a trailing stop to take profit. And then we get the red, red arrow for the short to come down as well. So in these particular uh, range-bound markets where we've got this roller coaster ride on the stochastics intraday, uh, this new version 3 strategy would, would lend to uh, continued trading uh, entries, uh, even though we're not in a really strong trend. So as you can see, last week, this is the 60 minute chart. We did, as I predicted, have that bounce off that support level and we moved higher. Um, we got um, the, the lower pullbacks and we got other signals on the stochastic here to go high again, green here to go long. And then we got the short signal back down into the support zone, which held again Thursday and Friday and then bounced off it on Friday to close just below this main um, consolidation level here that we've we've seen on the daily and the weekly here. So I, I would see this continuing if this support level can hold and we get some uh, stochastic pullbacks and we find support. We are going to look for um, further uh, bullish or and bearish stochastic trades during this coming week. Uh, I don't think really when we look back on the daily, we're not uh, going to make a sharp move higher. Again, we've got this target of 1370 in mind, um, but uh, as long as Trump keeps sending out these announcements and on tariffs and Amazon and all that sort of thing, markets are quite muted. Gold's doing pretty well. We have to see that this center line of the weekly channel is respected very, very well. So that's it for this week. Have a great trading week. Look out for those stochastic type trades. We will get the version three out of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite with this new stochastic strategy uh, in May, and it will be available for NinjaTrader, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. So have a great week.